Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're gonna to be brewing cold brew coffee that has a mild, rich flavor and no bitterness using Hario's cold brew in a bottle. Now the Hario cold brew in the bottle is a 750 ml carafe made from Hario's famous glass, which is heat proof, which means it's gonna be able to withstand greater temperature shocks. And there are two parts that make up the top. You have the easy pouring bottleneck shaped spout that has a tight sealing silicon lid and under this clips on the filter, which is a fully enclosed filter. And this helps you serve up those super clean brews without any floating coffee grounds or sludgy dregs in them. And this fits nice and secure to the glass carafe for a leak proof, easy storage and travel solution. Now the cold brew in a bottle comes in brown and the mocha one that you see here. And if you are wanting to shop a cold brewer, as things are starting to heat up, you can find this product in the link up above. Now this low maintenance device from Hario can brew a killer glass of cold brew coffee. So let's jump in now and brew using the cold brew in a bottle. So it doesn't really matter which way you do it first, whether you place your water in first and then lower down your filter into the water, or you place your filter in first and then pour the water over the top of the coffee. But today I'm gonna to be doing a 50-50 here. The one thing you do wanna make sure is that you don't overfill your carafe. So you wanna make sure you have 750 mils of filtered water and the filter is gonna hold 55 grams of coffee. Now you wanna be grinding your coffee to a medium coarse grind as this is gonna work best for cold brew and then it's not gonna to turn too sludgy and get through the filter. So to be making this cold brew concentrate, we've immersed the mesh filter, which is filled with coarsely ground coffee into the carafe with water. And we just need to place this in the fridge now, perhaps overnight, but anywhere between eight to 24 hours. And the longer you leave it, the more concentrated it will become. The one thing I do like about this style of cold brewer is that that silicon lid is a nice tight seal, so you can place it in the fridge on its side, even upside down, and you can travel with it as well. And the more you spin it, the more it stirs it up and brews it. So once the time has passed, you'll have your own batch of cold brew concentrate and the lid can also be open at the very top for easy serving this way without having to remove the filter. And you can mix your concentrate with cold water, hot water. A favorite is obviously milk for an iced latte. And if you haven't tried it before, tonic water and cold brew goes down a treat. And thanks to the low acidity and bitterness, it'll go with just about anything. And that's the Hario cold brew in a bottle for you. Now this is a great way to enjoy a refreshing caffeine boost and it's conveniently waiting in the fridge for when you need it most. So if you have any further questions on the Hario cold brew in a bottle, throw them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and then that way you stay notified when we keep bringing out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.